Capricorn, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. Please subscribe and hit that bell. And in the on and when you hit the bell, you've got three choices. So choose all. Otherwise, you will not get notified. There are funny things happening on YouTube, and everybody knows it and is also complaining about it. So I hope you can bear with me and um, just persevere. So and please don't leave the channel. So please come back as I do go live on Monday, Friday and Wednesday night. So I'll repeat that Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I give out free cards on those nights unless otherwise specified. Um, and I did enjoy the interaction uh, last Friday because I went live for every zodiac sign and some turned up and some I suppose were at work because the thank goodness some people are still at work and keeping the economy uh, moving and going and thank you to them and I wish them all the luck in safety and to protect themselves that everybody also nurses policemen firemen uh, people in the shop that fill shelves the young ones I thank them from the bottom of my heart and also keep them in my prayers as I said this is your love reading for May and we're nearly halfway through the year Wow it is going fast 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 so let's get started you can find more information below below the video in the description box or underneath this little white circle that will take you to the website and there you can find all kinds of information um, and there will be regularly updates once every two weeks or every week um, as I go there and update it and uh, the first card you have is release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so here you go you can't move on if you don't let go of the past this could have been um, a cancer a Pisces or a uh, Scorpio as we have the Knight of Cups you might be receiving news from the Knight of Cups but usually in a general reading he comes in on a horse on in the traditional deck and he holds up a cup so usually that means an offer of love or passion something that you're passionate about or something that you love uh, it could be love uh, coming in as this is a romance reading uh, or uh, just passion so remember passion doesn't last and usually the people the knights uh, or the, the 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 people of water the cups are people that are love uh, lovely and passionate and they are for long term and they're usually very durable they're very patient people they can be moody but once you stay calm and you can understand their rhythm and ha that they really love you they calm down and they realize and then they say sorry and they do mean that okay so there might be a water once you let the past go there might be a a, a water sign coming in or news from somebody offering you love or passion perhaps an invitation to go out to dinner or have fun because they are beautiful people you can have a good crack with them now I've got two of them very close uh, near me and I always am stitches in, I'm in stitches with the water sign this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so if it isn't a water sign it could be a, a fire sign earth sign or an air sign but you have already met this person and it is funny because you've got the six of cups underneath it and that means somebody from the past is coming back or you uh, and bringing you a gift okay this could be the offer of love okay or a bunch of flowers and this also means that you might be reminiscing about the past so yes you might be re remembering the past this could be of your previous a relationship so let it go don't bother to move on make start making new memories move on forget about the past you can't change the past you can only change the present and the future then you have 
uh, in the third week, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This could be happening um, also at the beginning of the month, but also definitely in the third week. So don't give up hope. You could be getting news uh, and clarity um, in the third week because you've got the Page of Swords. And Swords stand for wisdom, stand for justice, stand for uh, communication and clarity. And getting clarity could be that you are might be uh, going through a divorce or you ha have come through a divorce and that's why you are putting the dot on the I and crossing your T's, finalizing uh, the final issues to get it all around. Then you can release the past mentally, emotionally and physically. So there will be clarity in the third week. Perhaps you might be getting the final uh, certificate, certificate uh, dec uh, declaring that you are divorced because after you divorced you're not yet divorced because you can have three months thinking time to turn things around. Then you get the letter, um, yes you are divorced and then you have to do in in Holland anyway, you have to go to the institution, the registry office where you got married and show them that you have a certificate of divorce and that the finalization of that is six weeks. So for anybody that's never been married before, then that is what uh, one of the aspects of divorce is. Codependency. Somebody might have been codependent, or you could be codependent on your partner. That it does not help your relationship, whether it's a past relationship that you are now realizing you were codependent on them, or they were codependent on you, and that's one of uh, the reasons that the cookie crumbled, as they say. Um, because sometimes when with codependency it really becomes heavy if somebody really leans on you full time 24 7. It does not help the relationship. In fact, it breaks up a relationship. There should be equilibrium in a relationship. Give and take of equal quality and quantity. So. If there is a uh, codependency in your relationship at the moment, then uh, addictions uh, are affecting your romantic life. It doesn't have to be alcohol, cigarettes or drugs. It can ju codependency means that somebody could be the weaker partner and that you are the one that has to organize the finances even if they are if you've got joint bank accounts that you are the one that has to puzzle everything out every single month and how to spend it and how to save that is also leaving it over to you or to the other partner and this becomes really frustrating and boring making decisions on your own a relationship a marriage a unity is something that you should take both part in and not let over on one person. This is also a form of codependency. It could be uh, that they are lazy, it could be because they don't feel uh, adequate enough, good enough that they can make decisions and they will find it pretty difficult if it is your ex now that they have nobody to depend on to do their washing, to do their cooking, to do their bookkeeping, to clean their house. It is something that they will come to realize that, you know, so that could become clear. That could be the sword that will become clear now uh, that you have separated. Sorry about that, that was merely barking. <laughs> and I meant this one, that will become clear, not the romantic feelings. That will become clear as well if you've got romantic feelings for somebody. And I think you will, because you've got the sun and that's the most positive card in the deck. Now, the Page of Swords represents <coughs> uh, Aquarius, and the Knight of Swords represents um, 
Scorpio. So there could be an Aquarius, Scorpio or a Leo around you as the Sun uh, represents Leo. What the Sun also represents is that there are new beginnings that uh, like I usually say the Sun you might hear of a birth. This could be of a child or of a project or a new relationship uh, or a new job. Um, you are in the spotlight because the Sun, the Moon and the star sh uh, give light so they are the spotlights so you might somebody might have an eye on you there's also uh, something being illuminated and the illumination could be that you need more information for instance to get clarity or justice so you have to do some more research or find things out uh, it also means moving home or going on holiday somebody might ask you do you want to go on holiday with me that could be the beginning of a new relationship Ooh, but you have to let the past go so uh, the overall energy is the world and these cards are the enchanted dream tarot from Yasmin and uh, I love these so that's why I'm really enjoying doing the reading with this as well because they're so unique you see more things every time you look at them and this is the world card and um, she photoshops but if you look at the back here then you can see a, a, a person the head is here the arm is here and just a body and usually you see uh, somebody dancing with two batons in the world card so that means that there is balance okay balance is back so an end of a phase a new beginning traveling moving home also going up to the next level because the world is round it's like the wheel of fortune so you might be going up a step in the in this relationship or friendship will become a relationship something like that or you'll get a promotion at work um, you uh, yeah you're going upwards and forwards not only in relationships but also in general and also in your work life you will go up a next level this is also my karma card if somebody's done you wrong or good they'll get it back threefold the same for you if you've done good then you'll get it back threefold now the uh, angel answer is remain positive remain positive stay positive because something is just about to happen to for you or to you or around you so something positive is going to happen Capricorn there could be an Aquarius there could be a Leo and there could be a Scorpio but don't exclude any of the other air, water or fire signs. I hope you've enjoyed this reading my darling. Take care and be blessed and stay safe. And please give us the thumbs up and I'll see you in the life either on Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Then I'll be giving away free cards and I'll be answering questions that um, have been uh, supported by a donation. All the donations go to new decks and to the channel. Thank you very much and take care. Be blessed.